there is nothing better than the pleasure of riding our bikes. I mean, call us biased, but we love cycling. It's the freedom! The techie equipment, the mad races, the epic climbs. We could chat about it all day. Yeah, but man, what are those telltale signs when you just know you're a cyclist? I mean, we did come up with a few, didn't we? We did, just a yeah. few. So we've had to narrow it down. But here is our list. Woo, let's go. Yew, 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 yew. You don't quite know when you got so into coffee, but it does seem to coincide with when you got bit by the cycling bug. Yeah, you can't ride or even function without a coffee. In every ride out you go on, you stop for a coffee or two. You even order something like a macchiato, despite not having any clue what it really is. Is it nice though? Mm. It is good, but I've come for the cake. Yeah, so when's that? the cake? That? Carrot cake? A bit of carrot cake, Oh. You've also begun to shave your legs. Now you've got no idea why, but the excuse you're giving your non-cycling mates is that it's aerodynamic, it's good for all those massages you're getting, and also your hair doesn't get stuck in all those uh, scars and scabs. As you can see, I've got plenty of them. But also, yeah, they're looking quite hairy at the minute, so uh, you could do with another shaving. So that's gonna be tonight's job. Get them looking as beautiful as that view. Hmm, silky smooth. You also start getting some quite questionable tan lines. And when you're down the beach or at the park, you might get a few people staring at your tan lines. Trust me, I've had it before. But you are proud beyond belief. This is the mark of a true cyclist. Hours and hours spent on the bike. And also, you're maintaining those tan lines by lining up your shorts so it's a nice, sharp tan line. Right. We ready to go yet? Are they lined up? They're lined up. Yeah. Should we go? Equal? Yeah. All right. Ready? Hank, be a good swanier and pass me a bidon, please. You can't have my bidon, Manon, but let me check my director sporty. Can we got bidon for Manon? Musette, yeah. Only Musette. No, do you want a Musette? No, I'm all right, thanks. Cycling has a huge French connection. I mean, it does host one of the biggest races in the world, the Tour de France, meaning a lot of cycling words are often French. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Groupetto, peloton, maillot jaune, lantern rouge. I mean, even if your French wasn't that good during school, well, it has increased no end. Now, every French word you know is cycling related. I mean, it's definitely, in my case anyway, peloton, groupetto. What do you think about my French accent? It's not, not the best. I'm, okay. Maybe just stick to yeah, okay. You love finding new routes. Maybe you even find a route that links up to amazing locations and amazing views like this one. It becomes a eureka moment. You'll find yourself constantly looking for new routes on the map. You'll become drawn to contours on maps like bees to honey. And then when you find an inspirational pick for the GCN app, well, I mean, this is a good picture opportunity, isn't it? Picture, yeah. You'll also be able to share all those routes with your mates. You'll get obsessed with it. And you'll also do routes that you'll want to complete, like bucket list ones, mega big routes. Right, should we get that inspirational pick? Yeah, and um, we need one over there and over there. Yeah, hold on, over there. smile for the cameraman on. Yeah. You cycle everywhere obviously, and as a result, you wear your cycling kit a lot. Dan Lloyd even wears his cycling kit to the pub. And we here at GCN salute you. Wear your cycling kit with pride, especially your team's favorite one. Right, reminds me, we need to go do some food shopping. Friday nights used to equal late nights, dancing, and maybe a bit of karaoke too. But now you need your state for a big weekend riding. Well, apart from Hank, he doesn't seem to need any sleep and thinks doing a Mariana Trench is a recovery ride. Well, um, I better get to sleep because I've got a big weekend riding and I'm in my kit ready to go when I wake up. <laughs> You take recovery to new levels. Anything to keep those legs nice and fresh. Mm. You try laying with your legs down, you try ice baths, you try self-massage, you even try drinking beetroot juice and well, 
that only has one side effect. Don't go in there, Mama. Now this next one is reserved for a certain type of cyclist. Ollie, Ollie Bridgewood. Nice. Yeah, you might not have started talking this kind of language, but we call it numbers. numbers. Yep, so I averaged around 234 watts up that climb. What did you average? Well, well, let's not talk about you. Let's talk about me. We also sat around 24 kilometers per hour average. No, average, and we did it all at 70 RPM. And my training peak, so it's training stress, stress score of 300 watts. A threshold about 340, but then like when- Are you done yet? Well, I was just talking about my FTP. I don't think they really want to know. Oh, okay. Let's leave that one to Ollie Bridgewood. Ollie Bridgewood. Lastly, your bike is everything. You wash it daily. It has a pride of place in your house and sometimes well, you just sit and stare at it. And there's this one time when your mate jumped on it to have a go and you lost your s***. Here's my I'm just gonna borrow your bike. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you. You get to the point when you realize you have fallen in love with your bike. And you know what? That's okay. That is all you need to know you are a cyclist. When you know, you know. Cycling is a great sport and both Manon and I love it. And I guess you guys do too. But let us know if we've missed anything in the comments below. What gives it away that us cyclists just love riding our bikes? We're mad about it, aren't we? We love it! Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Hey Manon! Bye. Yeah!